Hey guys, it is Howitzer here, and if you didn't just see my last Godzilla video on the release of the first trailer from Godzilla Monster Planet, you may want to go and watch that video first. Many of us have seen the images of this creature here that has a slight resemblance to that of Biolante. Now after seeing footage from the newly released trailer, we got a quick scene of one of these creatures in action. I didn't think it was a coincidence that right after the shot of this creature, the words despair is evolving were displayed on the screen in Japanese. When I read this, I took this to believe that these creatures may have actually evolved or come from Godzilla. It was already clear to me in this shot here that the creature had a very similar skin makeup and color to that of Godzilla. But when I looked closer at this image, I noticed something that I didn't see in the earlier pictures of these creatures. It looks like it's got spikes on its back, similar to the dorsal fins of Godzilla. Now I do want to give you guys a spoiler warning because I am about to talk a little more about this creature. Well sure enough, shortly after posting this video, I noticed that Toho Studios had put up a picture of one of these creatures on their official website. They call the creature a servum. There was other text with the picture, but it wasn't translated yet. Now luckily, GodzillaMovies.com was able to get someone to translate the text for us, and it reads as follows. The Servum, a subspecies of Godzilla discovered by Earth landing troops. This information was compared with data collected on Godzilla after he was bombed by a nuclear warhead. Cellular analysis reveals the Servum is 97% Godzilla. Like Godzilla, their body has metallic-like tissue and can discharge an electromagnetic pulse. There are two types, the flying type and the worm type, which burrow underground. The flying type prey on the worm type, and the worm type in turn prey on similar animals, creating a food chain. So this is some crazy information, guys. Now we have confirmation that after Godzilla was bombed by a nuclear warhead, Perhaps, small pieces of him were mutated in the blast, creating an entirely new species. What is even crazier to me is the fact that the two main subspecies of Godzilla are actually prey and predator of each other. I can't wait to see how this fits into the movies and if there are any other subspecies of Godzilla. For that matter, I wonder if there are any other subspecies to the other kaiju to appear in the movies as well. I'm also really intrigued to see how Godzilla will interact with these creatures. Will he see them as prey, or will he see them as one of the family? I'd love to hear what you guys think about this, but I'm sure you'll let me know down in the comments. Thanks again for watching guys, and I hope to see you here next time.